Hey folks, I'm Gary. I'm Andy. And today we're going to talk about shopping habits. Shopping habits. Shopping habits. Okay, so we've created a recommended list of recommended foods that you should be buying. Yeah. There are different types of proteins, fats, vegetables, carbs, that kind of thing. Super foods. That will make up your shopping list. So you have to create your own shopping list yep. using our recommended foods yep. before you go into store. Okay? Yep. Got to be. So, you're going to walk into the store now. Yep. Make sure you're not hungry. Okay. Because what happens if you're hungry, Gary? You're probably more likely to make bad choices. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what you do. You eat foods what you want right that second. And if you're hungry, your blood sugars are probably a little bit low. You'll want sugary type foods. Yeah. You'll end up buying the bad foods. Cravings. Yeah. And all the things to, to do when you're shopping, mm. stick to the outside aisles. Okay. Okay, that's where your meats and your vegetables are. And your dairy foods, the, the healthy foods. Better quality foods that's on the you, outside. Yeah, that's where you find the recommended foods. Okay. But there is another option if you don't want to go into store to go, Gary. There is, yeah. We prefer to do most of our shopping, our food shopping online. Benefits to this is that we can choose exactly what goes on the order, and that's the only thing that's going to come back. We're never going to put ourselves in a position where we're tempted to buy junk because it's not on the list. Um, and we can choose exactly when um, it's delivered uh, according to our schedule. So those are some, some benefits. The other thing is that there's potentially some ingredients that you might want to, to purchase, such as things like flax seeds or coconut oil. And sometimes if you go in store, these can be very, very expensive. But there are some online stores out there that you can purchase these ingredients at a much lower price, saving yourself a small fortune. Uh, some warehouse stores in particular, uh, you can get things like coconut oil for a fraction of the price and it's, it's good stuff. It's I like good. saving money. Yeah. Saving money is good. So a few of the things you can do in store as well to save yourself money yeah. is look at the fridge or whatever supermarket you're in. There's usually a little section there which mm -hmm. has reduced uh, meats, yeah. and the reason they produce them is they want to sell them as close to their sell by date or their use by date. If you're not going to use them on that date, then just put them in the freezer, eat them further down the line. They're usually fine, but you just need to. Yeah, make sure they're the right colour first. Yeah. You don't want to buy grey ones. Not grey meat. Oof. No. no. So, that is shopping habits. Thanks for watching. See you next time.